Hey, what's up, everybody? Just want to show you guys some dinosaur bone I just got. Let's take a closer look. Pretty cool. Did a video earlier on this piece. Someone asked me if I if it was real. I was like, of course it's real. Um, the way you can tell is the cell structure. All those uh, little cells in there. Yeah, it's been agatized with the silica. Replaces the uh, the bone basically. What happened is the the dinosaur got buried pretty much by dirt and whatever whatever else happened, probably like a meteor or something. Wiped out the dinosaurs and it's basically they get covered and then the water or they get covered by dirt and then they get um over millions of years, you know, the water seeps into the ground and replaces the bone with the silica. And then the different colors are from basically whatever minerals were in the ground at the time. So, I don't know exactly what colors or what, but a lot of times it's iron is red or hematite is red. Uh, I think manganese might also be. I'm not sure about the yellow. The white's probably just like pure silica, quartz, or calcite. It's one of, it, one of them. This piece is uh, dry right now. <clears throat> It'll look way better when it's wet and polished. But uh, I just wanted to get some so I know what it looks and feels like. So when I'm out looking around, I might run into some. I'm actually pretty sure I might have found some small pieces before. I didn't know what they were. I'm pretty sure I threw them back or didn't pick them up because uh, you're, you're really only going to see the outside like this, you know, a big, maybe a big piece or a small piece. And, you know, it'll be covered in dirt. So you're like, probably not going to know what it is unless it's like a whole bone or something. But most of the time they're not whole pieces or they're just broken up pieces so I mean imagine seeing that in the ground covered in dirt <laughs> it's not gonna look like a whole lot and you're not gonna be able to zoom in like this well I guess if you had your phone you could but just imagine seeing that in the ground you're not gonna think nothing of it she gonna think it's a rock Till you uh, take it home and slice it open, and this is what you get. I'm seeing some little shiny pieces in here. That's probably uh, some type of, some type of feldspar. Like feldspar is known for that kind of shiny looking stuff. Unless it was mica or something like that, but. Doesn't look like the mica that's out here. Just looks like a, more like a feldspar. But let me get it wet real quick. Watch, watch the difference. I'm probably gonna seal it actually. I've heard people seal it. This one might be sealed actually. But look at how the colors just pop. Isn't that crazy? That's what it's going to look like when it's polished.
cut and polish. I'll be able to make several stones out of this piece. It's a pretty good sized chunk. It's uh, probably like four inches, four or five inches. I can't tell if it's sealed or not because I'm not, I haven't worked with dino bone yet. This is my first piece. But it looks like it's drying out already right there. So that means the water is pretty much evaporating or like it, it's already absorbed into the stone that fast. So it's probably not been sealed. I mean, it's possible, I don't know. Like I said, I never worked with it before. <clears throat> but with this cell, cell structure, it's cool. I wanted to get a piece just to know. I think I've actually found dino poop before or some sort of ancient uh, some sort of dino poop it looks similar to this not not quite the same it's more like conglomerate or whatever more looks like a bunch of larger pieces of rock or whatever they were eating at the time like Nuts or something. Yeah, that's cool. But I like this piece. It has all crazy colors. Reds and oranges. There's a white. Yellow. It's pretty cool. It might actually UV reactive too. I hadn't tried it actually, I forgot about that. Well, you can see the outside doesn't really look like much even when it's wet. So, I'm pretty sure I've seen some in the field. I didn't know what it was and probably left it there. But they were small pieces. But this piece is cool. This is from uh, Utah. <clears throat> I got it on uh, eBay for really cheap. Uh, for what it is. But here, yeah, look at that. Cell structure. This is so crazy. That's crazy. This this. Something was alive millions of years ago, like walking around. This could be like a, I don't know, a foot or a leg or arm or rib. I mean, there's no telling what this could have been. But it definitely was a dinosaur walking around on our planet millions of years ago. That's just a crazy thought if you think about it. That is super crazy thought. But man, how cool is that? It doesn't even look real. I bet you money this thing's gonna glow like crazy on the UV. It has to. At least the white stuff. It's probably like a calcite or quartz or it could be even opal. <clears throat> but like that right there was probably like a vein. I'm just assuming. I don't know nothing about that, to be honest. But 
That's what it looks like. Maybe a vein. But that's what dinosaur bone looks like. They don't all look this color. Some are, you know, just regular black and white or, you know, no colors. Just depends on what was in the ground at the time, like the minerals and stuff. Man, that's so cool. That is just crazy. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoy this dinosaur bone. I think it's one of the coolest pieces I have. <clears throat> I don't even want to cut it, but I probably will be to make some stuff out of it. But, um, uh, thanks for watching, everybody.